everything is right down is just split right down the middle. I mean, the both of these teams have a, have a decent win rate. They're very close in percentages. 62% win rate on Nuke for Navi, 58% for G2. 13 maps played by Navi, 12 maps played for G2. So pretty equal sample size as well between the two squads on this. That's all within the last three months. So this this feels like it should be a very close affair. There's not one favorite in my mind on this map. No, maybe not. I mean, that's the kind of map, though, uh, we like. It's good news if, uh, if it's going to be, uh, you know, hard to guess. That does make it more fun. Electronic uh, had a great new game on this particular... Uh, well, I uh, was it like two, two days ago now? Um, we've seen Simple on this map, too. I think this could be... This I think could Electronic... Be just by nature of the position he plays outside, he's always going to get a lot of attention. So the possibility is going to be there for Electronic to pretty much have a, a solid map every time this is played. For the moment, G2, everyone's in lobby. Well, Molotov has already been used, and it looks like they want to try and see if they can cause a bit of a distraction on the A-bomb site while then running straight down towards the ramp. So they get ramp control, but they're not going to get anyone with that. Not yet, anyway. They want to keep going. Oh, this is really fast. G2 not slowing down, but he'll be slowed down by Simple. A big double. Flamey with a double of his own. And that is the end of the round. There's nothing to do from here on out. Hunter in a one versus five. Man, they... They want it. It's the fight they wanted. Just weren't able to win it. That's... Yeah, that's the that's the same kind of pistol round that Complexity ran against Navi just a couple days back. That that utility usage towards the upper bomb site and book it towards ramp room. That too was shut down. In fact, that kind of a tactic of like you know faking towards the upper bomb site didn't even work for Complexity until later on in the half. The first two or three times they ran it, Navi had an answer each and every time, and and it happens again here. Pistol round for Navi, another good one from Simple. Three kills for Flamey. Man. Well, I mean, in some sense, you can't even really be sad about a round like that. Like, you, you got you got a lot of what you wanted. It's just that you weren't able to get any of the opening kills once you actually got into the bomb site. So, just have to move past that. No bomb plant, obviously, so they haven't bought in this round. And we'll see if that third round, if they can uh, overcome. There's a lot of MP9s in play here. If they're going to have the same amount, and presumably they will in the next round, Maybe the AKs of G2 could be impactful. That seems like a oh. waste oh. of a boost with a clock. <laughs> and what? Are you run boosting him right into death? Yeah. Oh, Electronic's going to love that d delivery. <laughs> I was that was I was excited. I thought actually maybe he could make it all the way to the stairs and then, you know, he'd just be catching Electronic. That would be great. I was I was thinking when I saw that boost, I was like, well, maybe he's got like a, a deagle that he's like peering down the stairs a little bit, but but no, it was just like a weak little pea shooter. That's where you need the Seuss. Like, just imagine it. Yeah, it would have been no different from what we just saw. You don't even have to imagine it. No, you say that, Jason, but I don't know. <laughs> but this raid will never know. This we won't. No one's no one's even given it a try. No one's given it a thought. Lobby crunch for the defense really early on in the half. I like this, especially with four SMGs getting up close, using a lot of utility and now just sneaking back as well, making it look like they have control of lobby. And we'll see the response from G2. This could be some early information gained by Navi. No wall of smokes, just a flash to, to swing. But again, when you have AKs versus MP9s, you can afford to do that. You don't have to use the smokes. Not that they have that many, but later on, obviously, that would be a, a, just an absolute lethal choice. Oh, what a grenade around the corner. That's going to do a fair bit. And again, that will make the MP9s way more um, efficient. Really narrowing the gap between what it takes to, to kill someone with a headshot as soon as you get any grenade damage in. So, that's interesting. They're not finding the targets out here. I mean, they get so much yard control, but they're not getting any fights, and they love it. Well, no one wants to peek, except for apparently Flamey, who does good damage on an Exa as well. So, yeah, G2's taking a lot of chip damage before they really figure out where exactly they want to go. If they go downstairs, the one nice thing is it's only simple. He's the only one down here, but G2 isn't even pressuring it. And now they're losing a fight at range. Ooh. Nice knockout punch there. Flamey going to be going down next. It's a four on three, but um, 
both Jackson and Kenny are extremely low on health. And 15 seconds now, they got to find a way in here and get that bomb planted right away. Kenny's actually running outside with this. Nine seconds left. They're, they've already almost run out of time. There we go. Finally going to be him. doing it. That is so close. Electronic will go down. What a... I was scared for a minute there. It looked like Kenny was shuffling around outside of the bomb site and not even really doing <laughs> anything. They're running those Navi tactics, making everyone nervous. Man, these SMGs have done so good in this round. They've outdueled a couple of the AKs. Look how close some of these HPs are. Kenny S with one, Jax with 17. Perfecto finding an AK-47 is, is magnificent. And Omidek knows with 20 health, he can't even chase. They have to make sure that they're secure from the bomb explosion. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if Navi knew how much damage they did, but... Certainly, if you look at it, it, it that feels like a round that could have gone a bunch of different ways. But I don't think G2 care. You know, it's, it's a close round, but whatever. They win it. That's really the only crucial thing here. Obviously, now they're going to be able to bind this next round, and they did steal an AK-47 on Perfecto. So that was sort of the first part of the test. They passed. Now, here comes the second uh, second go around, and that's this uh, buy round from Navi. If G2 can win that, they can uh, they can start to build. We've got the permits. Yeah. You uh, put something up. Well, let's... <laughs> permits, eh? Let's see what uh, Sipple's gonna do with this off for the first time in his hand. Electronic with an early flashbang. They've gotten to red box very quick these past few rounds. Oh, no. They're gonna challenge it. Have they lost their minds? Are they outside of... Oh, my lord. Simple is going to cut a couple of easy kills. They're trying to beat the timing. Electronic still hasn't even been shown. This is way too easy. And no damage even being done. No kills for G2. And they might have thrown this round away. It was bold, though. I mean, there is... You've got to give them that, Jason. It, yeah, points for courage. A lot of courage. Doesn't always, Which, isn't uh, there like that saying, like there's a f fine line between bravery and stupidity? Seems like that should be something someone would say. Well, I know which side of the line they landed on. Um, <laughs> 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 Missed shot from Simple. He's going to get maybe one more chance here. Kenny, I don't know. Kills are still are always important, and they will get none of them. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I don't know what this is about, to you be even, honest. You even set it up in the previous round. You're like, oh, the wall of smokes is fine when you're up against SMGs. But that was a... Uh, they didn't get anything they wanted. I don't... I Maybe they expected the AWP. Maybe because you could see the second player from G2 died with the assist from Nexa, who throws a flashbang. Maybe they were expecting that flashbang to be effective, to force Simple from the angle for like a half second, and they could fight the repeat. But that's... Even that's a big risk. Yeah. Oh, here we go. In through the hut. A lot of fire. And now the smoke down. And they've all slowed down. I thought they were going to keep going. I was excited. We had Tech Nines in play. And it's against the uh, the spirit of buying a Tech Nine to stop running at all. Should never stop. Yeah. Well, they've used, they've used all their utility. So it's gone uh, from bad to worse. In fact, I think they should make it so that when you buy the Tech Nine, you cannot stop running. You're, you're just always in, in, in plus forward. You have to keep going. There's no slowing it down. Okay. That's, that's an interesting take. That's one of those recommendations you don't hear too often. Well, time for a field day. This is what I mentioned when I said Simple was going to be fast and mobile between all locations on the map with that AWP. A double kill in the previous round, double kill in this round as well. He's off to a great start. Nine and one, six and one for Flaming. Yeah, things are getting a bit troubling. Getting all killed at the corner. And again, it's not that they, sh they should have, you know, found a way to, to win that round, it's, but they should have found a way to do damage. Something, anything. I mean, we've already seen once in this best of three what happens when Na'Vi end up with a bunch of flawless rounds and, and G2 can't do the economic damage. Why are people shooting at Boomage early on? 17. Tom making him hustle up that ladder. He's got teammates following up. Here we go. Tech 9 on Kenny as he's keeping 1100 in the bank to, to uh, afford an AWP as soon as possible. Breaking the windows as well, signifying that maybe they want to fall into an upper bombsite hit later on in the round. Simple with that op this time is outside. 
Excuse me, where is Simple? You know, he's inside. He's actually peeking into the hut. He's actually pushing forward to a new angle. So aggressive stance in towards lobby. Hears nothing, feels no pressure, and might be able to catch Jax off. Yeah, it's easy to, to mistime this if you're uh, if you're walking through the lobby. Just forget about it for a second. And he's actually taking an even deeper angle now. This is really interesting. Quick shot there. He wants to go for more, and he's going to get taken down. Nice swing by Amanek, and he wants to go into the bomb side. Can he follow it up with a bit more? He's looking down there on the floor of the bomb side and finding no one. Kenny gets a kill on Electronica now. Out of the vent. A little bit of a fly in from Boomich, who's not going to get anything done. He was trying to close the door politely. Perfecto on Flamey, now two on three. <laughs> he actually closed the door on his teammate. Flamey can't do anything now. <laughs> Maybe that was the teammate that shot him earlier in the round. He was like, guess what? <laughs> That's actually, for some reason, just sent me... Oh, it's buckled me. Flamey trying to come out of the hut. <laughs> trying to recover the situation. Molotov into the site, but it's a little bit too late. And Flamey has nothing left to do but go down. <laughs> He's like, bro, why? <laughs> it was his dying act as well. He was like, oh, I'm definitely going to die. I might as well close the store. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it's not ideal. Ooh. Flying Kenny. He, he practically stomped the electronic. That was cool. The Goomba stomp. Yeah. Um, four to two. Excellent round from uh, from G two, putting the pressure on Navi once again. Yeah, this is the last buy they're going to be able to afford. AWP again on Simple. He had that one kill with it in the previous round. Very aggressive in Hut. It's hard to. That's a play that I would probably never make. Like maybe that first kill, but it's it's hard to really criticize Simple for doing it. You just kind of you have to let him. You you kind of unleash someone like him. One yeah. two kits on Electronic and Simple, but Navi is going to be out of money if they lose this round. Yeah, that's a big takeaway. So pivotal round this seventh one early on in the match. Just some jiggle peeking going on here from Electronic. He's, he's getting bored of that. He's going to move forward, but the grenade has him thinking twice. And yeah, that's because he can't also cover the, the roof there. So moving forward is super dangerous. Now in comes Simple, though, with the AWP and oh, Hunter. He's so... Well, he's dead. Yeah, say a little both. bit lackadaisical. Flamey's going to drop on down and ramp room is taken over. But now what can they do with it? Only three players here. Flamey finds Kenny S. He got aggressive. Kenny wasn't expecting it. Now he sinks deeper into the lower bomb site. He's got no backup. Actually, excuse me. Boomich has just dropped in towards vents. And Flamey might have another one. Jax is brought low. Nex is trying to creep up close. And Flamey falls. That's a good refrag for Boomich. Just some simple trading going on. Oh, Amanek, he should have been dead. That is a bit of a miracle. I can't believe he got that second kill. Boomich looked like, uh, oh, sorry, looked like he should have had that one. It's still going to be uh, a one-on-two, but everyone's low on health now. Jack's outside, 35 seconds, and he has been spotted, and that's a problem. The bomb is, well, nowhere near him. It's down to the B bomb site. Well, remember, he spotted one player. He didn't see Boomich, and Boomich was down here earlier for that trade kill, so he, Jax can't have any idea that both players were actually upstairs in secret. Otherwise, he might have hustled to get this bomb plant. Now it's just a massive risk. No matter what you do, how do you get this bomb Ooh. planted with... Oh, no. I, I don't think he has time for that. He's crazy. He's trying to fake it out. Going to go back for more, but there's no chance to bait someone into the open, and Perfecto actually gave him the chance. Yeah. That is way more dangerous than it seems now that he's won it. And definitely uh, could have gone horribly wrong. Anyway, yeah, so so this was Electronic to his left. Yeah, I'm so shocked that Electronic doesn't get that kill. That's what brought the round back into contention. Anyway, 5-2, um, to two, no bomb plant means no buy for G2. And Navi with maybe a chance to relax a little bit if they can survive the Deagles. The, the, the third Eagles. The Deagles. Well, Kenny is going to turn the corner first and let the shadow will show. Oh, <laughs> Simple can't survive it, and neither can Electronic. Here's Jax in for the fight. M4 picked up by Hunter. And wow, what a battle. 
Hunter is gonna have to reload. Perfecto brought down to about half HP, but it's a winnable one versus two. And another peek from Perfecto. Triple kill, and he saves the day. That's some excellent shooting out of Jax. Check this out. <laughs> he's, he's so dead. What a beautiful round. Oh, he gets a headshot on Nexus. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Actually, maybe if that doesn't come through, they actually have a chance to uh, to turn that around. One extra player would have been the would have been a beautiful thing. Still, economic damage is dealt. Money's still low, and G2 have a chance to reset Navi again. Nexo only has one kill, but no wonder if his teammates are shooting him. It's unfair. Hunter, oh, look, that's just an elbow showing. It's simple. They did the same thing in Hut earlier, and instead of backing up like most sane people would do, he's just continuing the aggression. He wants to keep going. Flamey, he walked through the smoke in front of him, and he's gonna get both. That was an all-in from Kenny with that AWP coming through, and now they need to relax here. This is a two-on-four. No reason for Navi to lose a bunch of rifles in this round. This feels much more like Mirage than it does feel like Train. Uh, yeah. This is not a one-man army from Simple, but the impact he's having is making things so much easier for the rest of his team. He's being dynamic in the early stages of the round. He's getting first kills left and right, and he is stopping any map control from G2 wherever he goes. Fifty seconds, and G2 just hoping for a. Uh... Again, a mistake. Sometimes, if you wait around, you know, the enemy team will just give you a bit of an opening. Navi, though, pretty well restrained at the moment. Not being too crazy. That Molotov was the last grenade that G2 had, and it doesn't really give them anything. Simple. Always interesting. A little technical detail there, which is re-peeking as he's putting an X-Bullet in, so he could, you know, get a glimpse of where Jax was running. Amonix got a kill in the meantime, and now he's gonna put the bomb down. Oh, he's gonna fake it once. Wants to make it a 2-on-2 before he does anything else, and might have almost baited someone into that. Looked like Simple wanted to go for it. Now he's gonna definitely have to follow through. Ten seconds, and he gets one more kill. He's gonna get traded, and even if not, that would have still been no time to actually put the bomb down, but brave effort. That's actually pretty cool for G2. I thought they, they made a real round of that. Yeah, that was that was actually a really nice attempt. I enjoyed that as well. Man, next on Kenny S coming through the flames. Jax is even lucky to get that kill. What do you think, Jason? That's a bit rough. Nothing. Yeah, what nothing's we... working is all I was gonna say. Well, you're right. Well, that's why I I thought maybe we could spend this time <laughs> to uh, to come up with maybe, with maybe a powerful plan. What if what if the community? What if everyone just <laughs> tweeted all of their favorite pro players and asked them to do the Zeus run boost? Like if we put you know peer pressure, it's the old you know grade school tactic. Works well there. Why not on the internet? I, it's kind of like grade oh! school. Say it. Come again, Jason. What was that? <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need Jax that sound is, uh... on replay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell! Jax, that makes no sense. No, it doesn't, but here we are. He, he did it in the other round. Um, <laughs> social social media peer pressure seems to be a, a hot topic of late, Anders. I'm not sure how I, if I feel comfortable you no. know, championing and, and being, being well, the guy to ask for good. it. This is for good. This is for, you know, for at least... For, for good, not now. evil? Exactly. See if they can run down the infection. We'll look at the transfer. Jax is there, and apparently he just he got the right deagle. It can only hit headshots, which is quite the quite the pickup. Must be nice. No, don't use the M4. Get back with the deagle, Jax. Have he he needs to have faith in Kenny S to be able to protect him from above. But they're basically letting this flank come in. Kenny S spots the jump. He's he has no blinded, armor. looking above now. Yeah, they're close to him at this point, and he peeks in, and oh, that's not enough. Electronic is going to peer back towards the site, might open him up. This play from Almanac needs to come in now. Jax is in way too much pressure. I cannot believe G2 has slowed it down this, to, to this degree. There's the tap. Electronic being cautious, looking behind him. No one's being fooled, and the Ooh. Tech 9 works either way. That's a big shot, but again, they don't have armor. Well, only Amanek does, and he's already low. This Jax being jumped on. Boom, which comes flying around the corner, and they will just barely lose the round. I, I mean, this is so close. Again, the lack of armor, especially on Kenny when he goes for that uh, that that shot there, is just it's so unfortunate. Some really heavy losses here for uh, for G2 must be upsetting. It's going to be eight and two in favor of Navi. Man, 
I mean, I'll, I'll get to do it after we see this replay. Because Simple just asked Jax if he was jumping, and Jax said no, but I, I feel like he was definitely, definitely jumping. No, oh, maybe we're not going to see it. I don't know. That 3v3, it, it felt like G2 was playing that out of, out of I don't know, like, like really uncomfortable. I don't know why the bomb wasn't being planted. Kenny has had an op over by the vent and the squeak door to guard heaven. You can put the bomb down there, and Omnix can still play his flank situation the exact same way. But the fact that Navi never had the pressure of time allowed them to, I mean, they got to dictate a lot of when the action began in that round. If you have the bomb planted and ticking away, you force their hand. Man, this is... I, I can't believe that G2 has managed to keep the Na'Vi economy so low for a long, long time. All they need to do is win this round, and they can... They can essentially cash that whole series of checks right here, and, and, and suddenly they could be from, from you know, two up to four rounds. And then it's a very open game once again, so... Just a single round here would mean everything to them. Aminek going to the fight against Electronic outside. He was hiding out there. That's a huge win to start the round with. Still a minute on the clock, and where do they want to go with this, though? There's that worry all the time about Simple and that dreaded AWP of his. Yeah, Simon's over towards Ramp Room, and guess what? They're lining up, and it looks like they want to go right at him. At least for the moment, a couple players in Radio Room, they might just be watching for a push. I recommend oh, but they're no. going to try and bust out the fake. Yeah, well, they don't know Simple's here. That's the big, that's the difficulty. Omnic goes down. There's the repeak. And Simple's got that as well. Again, a new position and another double kill for Simple's off. Oh, how does he survive? He was looking straight up into the sky as Boomers were shooting at him. Kenny getting caught with a knife out. I don't know what's time, going time. on. Yeah, time's running out. 15 seconds and Flamey's going to get the kill on Kenny. Now it's a two on two with 10 seconds left and he's just waiting down here. Simple, I don't know, six seconds. Can they even do anything at this point? Hunter's running straight no, for it, but they miss it. Uh, but why? <laughs> oh my God, he almost got shot through the floor. But, but why? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> oh no, this is G2 crumbling. I'm used to seeing G2, not G2. Here's that, the bombs, here's that but... shot. Okay, it was the other person jumping. Fair enough. That's, that's unreasonable. I feel like I was justified for my excitement still. I'm used to seeing G2 not defusing the bombs, Jason, but if they start not planting them as them, well... It's a problem. Yeah. yeah, that issue can really uh, has to be contained to one side of the map. Yes, you can only really have that problem on CT, not not CT and T. Nine to two. The economy for Navi is still dreadful. They're just. They're so on the edge all the time, edgy to me, of being able to turn this game around. That's that's the thing that's going to be really is, upsetting. Yeah, this is exactly what Train was. Remember, they had him on that reset. They just had to get control of the economy. The problem is it's never actually occurring here. They, they could really go for it now. If they can claw this up to five rounds, that would be incredible. Molotov is actually his own Molotov burning jacks. Here comes the push. Boomage close up to the smoke. Oh, a late flash is perfect. Perfecto's burning. And they finally get into the bomb site. And now down to that pesky plant. Bomb has been planted. If they could find the kill. I mean, I, I'm not saying they should go hunting for the rifles. But again, if Navi make it out with these three rifles, then instead of a full on eco, they get a bit more of a chance. Flamey picking up Kenny there. Simple waiting. It's a three on three. And obviously more than anything they should not let go of the round at this point in time i think navi already just thinking about the exit kill simple waiting around in the vent does he want to try and see if he can climb up and just no scope somebody as he lost his mind he's almost going to be able to uh, to find a kill there but back down before hunter showed up and now it's a two on three maybe another exit kill in store here electronic easy enough they are taking down nexus so at the end of it it's a third round for g2 with Navi still saving a couple of rifles at the very least. It might actually be a good thing that Hunter found that kill right at the end because it looked like Navi wanted to go for this. And this kind of sealed it. Simple's still in safety and vents, so he's just able to back away. But that's an important round. G2 finally do it. They get their third round. 
and they've destroyed the economy. There cannot be a buy in this round for Navi. They do have an AWP on Simple. They have an M4 on Electronic. You could, in theory, force up around these two weapons, but what's... Never mind. Um, let's not even go into it. They're going to go for it. They're forcing up. They're going to drop two Famas. Electronic was at 3k. Simple was at 3k. So not enough for M4s. They're dropping weapons over. This is uh, this is G2's best chance at reco not only recovering in this half, but they might even be able to get to six if they can close this out. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if they can guess that Navi will... They have the rifles. Maybe they will. It's just... It's the fact that one of those is that orb on simple. That's making me incredibly nervous. He's 15 and 5, and Flamey's right behind him at 13 and 5. So, I didn't even notice Flamey had been playing that well, but shout out to him for putting it on the board as well. Here we go, outside electronic. Where's that wall at? They need the smoke. We've already seen what happens if you don't. Simple. Won't be able to see them now. They're going to be down on the low ground and no timing shots either. So, Amanek has made his way across, and that's some good news at the very least. Oh, into the upper bomb side we go, though. Electronic has two kills. They tried to wrap in. Oh, that's not ideal. And Jax has kills. to go for the TK because he must win that fight. Two on four inside of the upper bomb site, and there's nowhere to go after this plant. Man, this is so heartbreaking. Kids who all the time on the edge, they, they make Navi force, and Navi come right back. Big double outside there for Electronic and Kenny. Fighting at the edge. Flamey on the other side will be going down, but look at how low they are on health. Missed opportunity there. And Kenny has to be a little bit active, otherwise it's not going to happen at all. Now he can't stop the defuse. Smoked off and shut down of the MP9. A 10th round on the board for Na'Vi and... Wow. The round loss bonus is in their favor with the bomb plant at the very least, but it, that's not something that you're going to be celebrating at this point in time. And Electronic just playing in standard positions inside of the warehouse, and they've never been able to clear him out. He's been he's had so much safety there throughout this half. And an easy retake for Navi when they have such a man advantage and positional advantage. 10 to 3. The force up works, and it's back to grinding for G2. They've got plenty of money for at least this next round, but if they want to fight for the last two, they need to win it. This feels I, at this point, it almost... I would like to see G2, if they're going to go outside again at any at any level, I think that wall that's close up to mini might do them better because they can at least use that to not only negate simple, but, you know, clear out electronic if he's in warehouse. If you're going to make that kind of a play turning into mini in that fashion, you're kind of just rolling the dice that someone is there or not. I mean, you could even make it a, a little hit squad to go and find the electronic and find him if you, if you really want to do that. Flash your way in or something, yeah. This just feels like such a, a mentally taxing game for G2. They must know all along that they've had Na'Vi at basically zero dollars across the board, and, and yet three rounds is all they have to show for it. Electronic back around the corner. Looks like they have a Molotov. Might just want to try and burn him up, but no. Instead, they throw it to the stairs, and he's going to have a huge chance of getting at least the one kill if they wrap around this smoke. There's the spray down, and he continues. Beautiful double. Molotov just uh, to the stairs instead of on him, and that made all the difference in the world. There's just way too many multi-kills when the action begins on the, on the side of Na'Vi, whether it's simple with the AWP, Electronic, these past few rounds has had a double kill each of them. We've seen Flamey have a couple double kills. There's just not, the trading for G2 is just not good enough. Nexa over at door, but he's he's got to wait for his teammates to move outside and get into position. And they don't have any smoke, so they can't even cross outside. They have they have to go towards mini, and that's where electronic is ready to go. Yeah, he's just watching it. Might be an easy kill again. The gun barrel's gonna be showing a little bit. Oh, nice duck from Kenny. Stops from dying immediately. Boomage double pick up another one and. Whatever nice kills are coming out, it won't matter at this point. A four on one at the end there for Nexa. And he can't do it. So 11 to 3. Navi so well on their way to picking up this series. I I don't see how G2 are going to make a comeback from this point in time. It's just such a long road back yet again. Yeah, they better, they better get this last round to have that little bit of extra breathing space. This is a really good showing from Navi, who looked like the, the Walking Dead yesterday. Jax fully bought up. Decent amount of utility for the T side. Jax is going to have that AK-47. And here we go. 
And next uh, towards the door. I guess at this point, if you're if you're G2, maybe just bust out a good old fashioned upper execute as a nice little set piece. Yeah, any I mean anything goes, right? It's hard to it's hard to come up with many things that actually have worked out well for G2 in this uh, first half. This is one of them though. If they if they actually go for the upper hit, this is one where Kenny earlier had dropped onto mini roof with the tech nine and been able to get one pick on electronic rotating into mini. And everything is lined up to be pretty much the same at the moment, except for the addition of Amanek outside. Electronic is looking for him. It's a fight that Electronic has been winning a lot of the time. They're both hiding inside smokes, so. We'll see. Amanek behind the container. You can see Electronic now feeling very, very exposed. Yeah, that's not where you want to be. He's going to go back for more, actually. Oh, he is running with a grenade out. What a mental plan from Electronic. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Nexa better be a god in this round. He's got one and he's traded off, but there's no utility. There's nothing to block off these ha. doors. And simple Whoa. is here. Close lining Amanek with a deagle. Getting aggressive for more. And now the ops out. Now it gets even harder. And they have they have no desire to face off against him. They're being funneled right back up the vents. Nobody is there for Navi. So G2, at least for the moment, have fooled them in a three-on-three -three post plant oh, that G2 simple. desperately needs to win. He wants to shoot them through, doesn't he? It looked like he was going to try and take that shot, but he's still worried about someone being there. So never mind. Yeah, three on three, 15th round. So all in for Na'Vi and trying to retake this. They have a single flashbang, plenty of kits, uh, but one flashbang turned to the side with. That's just not going to be easy at all. Looks like Na G2 might have been able here to find a fourth round. They absolutely need it. Kenny all the way in the corner, probably the first point of contact as they turn the corner. Flashbang does really nothing at all. They try and drop down. Good enough shot from Simple. He's down on the low ground and he's not able to do it. He wanted that no. How do you do, I mean, one round at a time? Are there any more, you know, any more sort of common phrases we can bring out here? Any more encouraging words for G2, Jason? What's, what's, what's it gonna take? No, I got, I got nothing in the tank. It's going to take, first and foremost, you got to have guys like Nexa and Kenny S step up to the plate. They were they were pretty much shut down in that first half. One and two kills on those two guys about ten rounds in. So, I mean, they, they have to have a good second half if you want to be able to control it, especially considering Nexa's playing in mini. If he is having a rough second half as well, this whole outer portion of the map is going to be in so much trouble. Got to be careful with that duel. They are dropping down, starting to spin towards the window. Spam coming through, and Kenny S. And look where those two players that I just called out are. Guarding outside. Kenny's got one jumping up over the top. This is a bold position to remain in if you're Kenny S. He's actually gone out of the window. He's out of the yard behind them, shooting him in the back. That seems like a, an incredibly risky play. I mean, as much as it is staying in there, that could have also backfired, but he did get a two-for-one trade himself going down, so maybe not so bad after all. Round is definitely not done yet. Not we still have Electronic and Simple alive. That's a huge risk from Kenny S, but I like it. Is he at least he got the reward portion of that risk to come out. He got a double kill, able to stop them from getting towards Heaven. Now that he's gone down as well, team has got to be unnoticed that Heaven is exploitable, that it's open. Just now, 35 seconds. And they don't have any more grenades to set anything up with, so they should leave themselves at least a couple of seconds to actually get the fight in and not just uh, count on everything working out almost immediately. 20 seconds, that smoke's gonna be fading and they're gonna go and try and crunch this bomb site. Oh, good opening as they just get that little bit of damage out from Hot. Another shot comes in, but they can't find that player in the bomb site. It's Avanek with a beautiful triple. That is so well defended. I actually thought that was going to work out for Navi in at least getting the bomb down. Yeah, I did too. I was very afraid. That pinch from the bomb site. One player in hut, two P250s from above. That would have been wild. What an important first shot to hit as well on Boomich. If that is a drawn out fight, Kenny S is not able to transition over. Simple may even be able to pounce from the warehouse. 11 to 5, and Navi had a very nice setup and just could not convert it into a win. Deagle's out for Simple, and Glocks will surround it. Yeah, just, just the one deagle. Some of these rounds, when uh, when it was G2 on the T side, they they did manage to continuously do damage. They they sort of kept the pressure on Navi. They just were never able to convert it into that crucial one round win that they needed. Like that, that just never happened. It's crazy to think about. 
But maybe Simple could uh, carry on that tradition on the T side and do some damage himself with it. Why not give it a shot? He he's been he's been it's been fun. Simple. It's been it's been great. Simple in uh, in this uh, best of three. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been on point. He's been really exciting to watch, um, which is which is cool. And it hasn't it hasn't like even strayed into that area where it's punishing Navi in any way. He's kept it at least contained to that degree. He's been so spectacular with openings on the op kills. This round is very slow for Navi. Four players about to turn into mini, but look at this. The defense is actually wild. Two players in mini garage watching this. Kenny S over at the windows. Simple going to go down. Little bit of damage onto Kenny S, but they still haven't even met the main force of this defense. Will Mitch will carry on the Deagle for at least a kill. More people are trying to pick it up, and they're dying as they do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't blame Electronic for wanting it, but yeah, that did get him killed. Anyway. 6 to 11, and G2 will survive without uh, too many casualties in that round. So I think that is it's good news. It's 6 to 11. It's not, looking, it's not looking so bad now. Obviously, the, the real test is, is here, but if they can make this work, that would actually be quite cool. I think a lot of it is going to depend on this look we see at Kenny S with the AWP. What is yeah. he going to be willing to do? How much is he willing to risk? How aggressive? How assertive does he want to be? A lot of nades towards the upper bomb site. That's going to give Electronic some space to work with, and the smoke wall is up. Electronic is going to be able to cross. All right, some some damage for Nex. Are trying to just essentially have a really really safe play there. Still pretty annoying, but he smokes it off, and it's just one person. It's just Electronic out here. So um, I don't think he cares about the smoke going down in any way. They are set up for a potential crunch to this A bomb side that could be really powerful. If they could get two Ben in through Mini and the rest through Hut and Squeak Door, that can actually work well. They're going to be Molotoving off. Well, not quite the Hut, I think. I thought maybe they would, but seems like it's going to go up to the rafters instead. This is risky. There's two defenders with SMGs at this upper bomb site. Hunter's close up in the Hut as well. Here comes the wrap from Mini. Hunter, not able to find anything. He would have to be aggressive. Perfecto is baiting. He's waiting, and this is perfect for the attack. They're handling this so well. Hunter does find one kill, but it's too late to stop anything. The drop down, Jax falls, and now it's all about making sure you do not risk this AWP too much. It needs to be a winnable scenario, and Hunter's done just that. Again, Hunter coming up really big for his team. He almost got shot at the back in the beginning when he had the SMG, but he does turn it around, and now they have a big shot. 18 seconds, simple and flamey left. And finally, that bomb is being attempted, and it will go through, but Hunter coming in with a third kill, saving his team. Absolutely brilliant. That is... Man, I don't even know how he plays it so well. He actually turned back to look at the site, and then somehow was ready to turn for the first kill on that lobby player. This, Yeah, this play here is... That's so hard to do. Perfecto even played that so well. If the hit is coming from Mini and Squeak Door, the worst thing you can do is give up that position inside HUD and you can see what it means. That is a hyped up Jax. Good. They should be hyped up. This is a big opportunity. Maybe the biggest they've had yet on Nuke. Flamey gets a kill, but will go down. That means no bomb plant should be happening here. Not completely out of danger, as Kenny and Hunter are both pretty low on health. Oh, and the smoke timing. Hunter's going to get shot in the back. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Jack's getting caught out in the open. And that is a disaster. That should have never got that far. Shot attempted through, but yeah, he's in a lot of trouble here, Kenny. They're both right on the other side of that smoke. So, Kenny, does he see it? No, he doesn't. I don't know. It could look different on his screen, but... That was at least an opportunity right there. Now he's going to be going down in a steal from Na'Vi. That, that's kind of unforgivable for G2. That's one of those rounds that if you want to win this game, you cannot throw away. Yeah, that's that's completely unforgivable. They even they even had all the Molotovs in position. They were actually dealing the damage. They stopped the initial hit. It's everything that came afterwards that was so brutal. Man, that hurts. G2 was looking like they were going to be able to build into something really cool in this half, and Navi puts a stop to it early on. Final timeout used by G2. Now, they, they have to buy up in this round. They have to go for it. They have to try and respond immediately. 
especially because Kenny can afford the AWP. Yeah, Kenny on that AWP. We've said it a number of times. He's had a real quiet game here on Nuke. And not necessarily just, you know, him alone. I think this is also just a side effect of the whole team sort of being in a bit of a tough place. But he's got nine kills overall. Second low on the board, it's Jackson. Next up at eight, but we know he could do it. We've seen him on Mirage. He hit some amazing, uh, you know, multi-kills with the AWP on that map. So this isn't just because he's having a terrible day overall, but there's really no more space to, to mess around with. It has to be now. Oh, he's word. moved up so close to Perfecto. And oh, oh, <laughs> he took him right out. What a risk. What a risky play. I love it. Wall is going to get set up, flashbang as out, or maybe at least just an island of a smoke to allow Electronics to cross. However, Nexa pops up, finds a kill, and backs away. Good nade to follow things up onto Boomich. Two-man advantage for G2. Now, this would truly be unforgivable if they cannot convert this. Same thing happened to Nexa last time. You see people do that a lot now. Instead of sort of, you know, jiggle peeking for any information, people just shoot at it now. Simple had a round like that well, yesterday. I mean, we he... saw... Uh, that was Nico. Oh, yeah, Nico, Nico just the ended Deagle. the map with that, with that peek with the Deagle. <laughs> yeah, that was disgusting. Good chance here for G2 to get up to eight rounds. Let's see how many rifles they have alive at the end of it. Decent Molotov into the corner, Nexus but no... Nexus the only one... I'm oh, sorry, go on. Nexus is the only one down here. They haven't rotated anyone else in the position. Thankfully, he's going to get one. Kenny S can drop down ramp room and at least find a pick as they cross in. They know his position. There is a second player. That's a nice shot. But that was, uh, that was a bit dicey if Nexa was to go down. Now, that, though, was a rat play from Nexa. In a good way. <laughs> but that... Literally, crouched in the corner. Yeah. Four round difference at the moment. Money is still there for Navi, not on everyone, but I think enough to probably justify uh, continuous aggression here. They know they have G2 low. Might as well, might as well keep uh, keep it up. Make sure you can. Uh, you, you just have to win that one round. Oh, are they going to go halfway there? I'm almost a little bit shocked if they do. No, Simple's at least investing. I think there's enough money to invest, especially yeah. Navi. <laughs> you know, they do. They do like to go for the four spies more often than not. I mean, maybe it was a snap by the P250 for Flamey, not the other way around. Especially with the utility. I. This is interesting. What are Perfecto and Boomich are going to buy up? But again, they're everyone's okay. This is decent enough. They've got some money left in the bank, but still a very dangerous buy. Yeah, so trying to uh, to be a little bit responsible with the econ with the economics here, just not investing, not throwing everything into it. Don't really mind it. Again, I feel like this is one of the things that's really been working out well for Navi as well on the T side so far. It's just been continuous economic damage, and G two were were riding that same uh, that same train. But the problem is, obviously, again, as we as we were pointing out earlier, if you don't get that crucial round where you actually close down the economy on that CT side, then you can still be in trouble. That's exactly what happened to G2, and now we are experiencing maybe not quite the same thing, but something well, similar. There's also so much pressure, so much more pressure when you're doing that coming back from 4 to 11 yeah. versus just playing the half. Here we go. Flashbang out from Boomich. Amanek, not blind. Still hasn't turned. Still has not revealed his position. And Hunter is just, he's a god. He's got a triple kill before anyone else from his team gets involved. And Kenny S pushes up ramp room. That's a great stop. And now G2 is starting to believe. Yeah, and it, I mean, the, the, that grenade landed on them before they even got in through the hut. So they were so soft already. But yeah, watching Hunter play is just... I actually still... It's so weird. It's almost unfair, right? Because Hunter came from being just literally a name that no one knew to being a superstar in such a short time that, like, we didn't even get to build, like, any stories. Like, oh, he's just great at the game. Cool. Like, there was... 
It's not like, oh, he might be a cool, he might be good. Like, you know, it just happened overnight, which uh, is kind of incredible. Well, I mean, I guess that also kind of happens when you're, when you're cousins with Nico. <laughs> you know, you sh Actually, you're in a shadow for quite some time. Yeah, but I can see how that could even, like, that could, you know, almost backfire on you, right? Where people say, yeah, well, you know, people just know him because of that. It's like, I felt like that didn't even happen. It was like, it was just like a fun fact for a short while. And then when we actually saw him playing, like, some bigger games, we're like, oh, God, he's really good. And everyone just accepted it. Yeah, that's fair. Smoke down to try and isolate Jax, but no pressure applied after the fact. And Navi locked out of finding any entries with this, with these deagles. Sipple's got a pre pretty decent leg up on top of Mini. And one smoke left on Flamey to do what they will. Hunter going down. That was, I was just about to say, this is a round that looks like G2 can actually start to build money. They already have a little bit in the bank. Hunter, though, actually was out of money. He's at $50, so him going down is a bit frustrating, perhaps. 34 seconds on the clock, and now I'll be probing for just one more Deagle headshot before they decide where to go. Massive jump. Simple breaks his legs and is immediately put out of his misery by next. What up. is... Are they saving? There's 15 seconds. Yeah, he's gonna find a kill onto Flamey. Okay, they're all gonna go down at the end. I was so very confused. Kenny really struggling with that P250, but he finds it in the end. Okay. I was I was like, surely they didn't just not notice the timer in this round as well. Two-round lead for Navi. This is a great comeback for G2, Anders. I did not feel like this one is likely. And remember, they've used their final timeout, so they have no chances to pause and come up with a solution. It's all done on the fly at this point. Yeah, I think I really agree. It's, it's, it's impressive what we're seeing here. They've also built a, an economy behind them. They could afford to lose around and still buy. That's a bit of a luxury for them that they haven't really tried that much yet. Oh, Kenny, he was flashed running into that. And Boomich on the other side will take him down. They were absolutely suffocating out here on both sides of the container. Hunter, does he want to try and risk it to get it back? No, just going to toss out a grenade. But great start for Na'Vi in this round. They need four rounds to close out this map in regulation. And it's not been looking good for them in the second half here. They've only won one out of the seven rounds we played on uh, the T side here. Jax and Nex are going to be called upon in this game. I'd like to see them get aggressive. Jax is stepping in front. That's a good shot. They needed that kill. And they needed it clean. Navi still haven't made their move. But Electronic was a big part of it. That control downstairs was a huge part of it. Well, they're checking out everything outside, and they seem to have a fair bit of control out here. Could help them out. I mean, usually using losing yard control could be pretty dangerous to the CT side, but I feel like we haven't seen either team make a lot of use out of it. Well, that, that kill onto Electronic really helps them sustain no matter what. Jax and Nexa are both going to be here. Boomich is going to start climbing up. Oh, that's the bomb as well, and Simple's gonna pick him off, but they're still, remember, there's still Jax in location. If he can stop this, they're wrapping around towards heaven. That upper bombsite defense, Hunter and Omidek have a huge problem. Big kill onto Flamey, and Jax needs to be involved in this hit, but he doesn't go up the ladder. That's the bomb down. Ten seconds on the clock, and Navi's got it. Wow, that... That all happened in like three seconds. They were fighting everywhere all at the same time. I don't know what would happen if he hadn't come up the ladder. It's hard to say. Such a close round here, but yeah, it it sort of starts off here. There's so little time, but great spray from Boomich and head, heads up to, to catch Jax coming out. Wow. This That round is a perfect example of why we always talk about one of the best options on the CT side that you can do when you lose outside control and you know they're wrapping on heaven is push in towards lobby. Look at the way those two players in the bomb site are just stuck and so susceptible to Molotovs and flashbangs inside of the site. Even having Jax underneath the ladder is not a deterrent for the attack. Yeah, it, it looked like it should have been working out, but you're right, shooting straight up like that, I mean... You uh, don't have to be missing much, and suddenly there are more people out there. 24th round. All of the money that they had saved, more or less, is in this one for G2. And Navi, similarly, well, actually, they have a little bit more cash to work with, so 
Yeah, the comeback that was looking good, it can all be wiped out if they lose this round. And suddenly now we are practically at the finishing line. And again, a very slow start here as they've got that yard control, more or less. I think they're just listening oh, dear, in G2. They don't have... G2 has no one who has any idea about any of this. Yeah. They don't have anyone watching Mini at all. There's a lot of space that Navi has to work with. Jackson, Nexa doubled up again here in secret. It's all in this push. They have to kill Electronic here. That's the first. And Nexa, do you have the courage? You do. And now you've got to fall away. Kenny S in the lobby finds another one on top of that. Perfecto sneaking around outside, and the rest of them are downstairs. So they're a little bit split up in this three versus four. And again, there's only 25 seconds. I mean, if they lose another player here, it's done. Nexa, straight headshot to take down Boomich. He never stood a chance. And now it's a 2 on for 18 seconds. And I mean, Simple's down there. He's going to open up the door, but it's just a matter of time. And he's going to get caught with a grenade in hand. 11th round for G2. No bomb plant for Na'Vi either, so they're denied a little bit of a bonus money. They still have enough to buy, but uh, and probably will force it, I imagine. But this is getting so it's, tense now. Yeah, it is. And I'm, I mean, you have to imagine Navi if it's being given this way. If Electronic's able to get to the secret this many times without taking any damage, I'm amazed that Navi haven't tried to send more bodies down there to actually attack that lower bomb site. But they're getting yard control, warehouse control, and secret control. And the slow pace of that is, is really, really tough to deal with if you're a CT team because you don't know where they're going to attack. And yeah, Navi's not really doing a whole lot in those rounds, so you're kind of comfortable in your position, but there's there's very little timing before you realize where the attack is going to be and and when it actually begins. So it's hard to get players into position properly. Yeah, and I mean it and it, it that difficulty is compounded by the fact that they seem to lose yard control almost all of the time. And you know, it's just it's become a really, really hard map to read right now for G2. They have Kenny out there. As far as I can tell, Symbol doesn't have an AWP in this round. Maybe maybe Kenny could try just for a slight... I mean, the one time he tried it, he got shut down by the container, so probably feels like it's not worth it, but... You have to think at some point, Electronic is going to be like, every time I've gotten to Secret with an AK-47 on my own, Jax and Nexa have both been there. And that's, that's going to be a big tell. If, if G2 is rotating two players to deal with it, that opens up other areas on the map. Just look at Electronic. He has just stormed down on the lower part of the map. He's really far forward. He beat the corner as well. He's not doing anything with it yet, but um, almost wish he would have kept going. If he wins that fight at the lower part of the map where... Uh, oh, no. Oh. Look at Boomich. They haven't seen this. Kenny has no idea. Kenny's in for a world of hurt. Oh, it might have... I don't know. We didn't get to see it. I don't know if he saw him. I don't think I so. Think he did. Boomich. Oh, he's trapped in the corner, and he'll go down on the other side. Though Flamey and Simple have both gone down, and Boomich will be put to death as well up at the heavens. So now it's Electronic outside. It was lurking all along. That actually looked like it was about to be an absolute disaster. If not for Hunter and Jax getting all those kills, uh, I mean, that would have collapsed the bomb site immediately. But it looks like 12 to 13 here. I don't think Electronic could do much in 30 seconds. Oh God, this game is... I... 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 <laughs> It go I, I still feel really uneasy with how much space, how much freedom, and how much confidence Electronic has outside. And I'm also just amazed that Navi haven't been able to win rounds off of it. So close. He's almost got that one as well. But the lack of a bomb plant here really uh, became a problem for Na'Vi. Again, they've only won two rounds in this second half at all. That's that's kind of hard to explain. G2 are actually running it back. They're a single round away from tying up the scoreline. They've got to keep the focus now. I mean, usually this is where comebacks become really tricky when you finally when you finally get to the, the actual mark. Hunter, Molotov out of the corner. Oh dear, Flamey and Perfecto. Big opening kills into the site. Nexa trying to fight his way back, but he's going to go down. And the last two are up at the high ground as well. They're going to throw in some grenades, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. There's a Molotov right on top, and I think they've lost this round already. Jax goes down. Simple while Flash is still going to pick him up. And Kenny, one versus two. Is it worth it? The AWP 
They don't have the money to rebuy it. Oh my god, that is... That's a horrible way to lose a round. It's, it's hard for me to think of anything to say about that round except that G2 deserves it. This is... It goes back to Electronic just having the freedom outside every single round. He's walking into Mini at a minute and 33 seconds with nobody from G2 even looking at it. Like, no one's watching it, no one's looking outside, no one has any idea that it's happening. I mentioned it a few rounds back that at some point, Navi and Electronic were gonna figure out a way to exploit it, and that is such an easy crunch on the upper bomb site to come in that early in the round. G2 is gonna have to really buckle up at this point and have some, some kind of strategy to deny map control, especially outside. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, they probably do deserve it. 14 to 12, they've put together whatever buy is possible here, and it's not looking too bad. Obviously, Kenny's saving the AWP, but they're really out of run rate right now. G2, this has to work or it's all going to be over. Kenny with a big kill, he's actually pushed through the smoke, and now just hiding at the edge of the vent. He's in a little bit of trouble there, no one help, and he's going to start to fall back. Good kill on Boomage, and Flamey has almost gone down as well. Is Jax boosted up in the corner? Yes, he is. Is there going to be a distraction? Yeah, Nexus He's on the other the side. Boost. They're all going to be looking for Nexus, surely. No one's checking it. Big kill and a big double for Jax. And that should be the round here. One versus four. The simple trick down there at the ramp room, but combined with the early kill for Kenny, they made it work. Hunter with the final one, 13 to 14. That's money back in the pockets of G2 and... Well, they can still buy on the Navi yeah, side, so no, still dangerous. Yep, and I mean, one of the one of the crazy things about this game so far, I don't know about all three, but definitely two of the rounds Navi have won on this T side have been those force ups with Tech Nines, with Deagles, with P250s, and attacking that A bomb site very aggressively and very fast. They have not been good in the gun rounds, surprisingly enough. So maybe, I mean, maybe the extra money is actually a benefit to G2. Navi need to find something that can work for them. And I, I have to go back to it. I feel like outside is the answer. You're getting electronics. Send some more bodies. Actually make it an attack to the lower bomb site with multiple people. Yeah, that would be cool. Like it's almost it's almost like it's almost like Navi is surprised that they're getting so much control outside that they think it's like a trap. <laughs> you know, they're spending so much time clearing everything out because they're like, surely, it's surely to someone's true. gonna be here once in in the half. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, so I would say leave Boomage behind, or actually maybe Perfecto now that he has a Mac 10, but leave someone behind in the lobby just far away and, and have the other four people run down there quickly. Doesn't look like what, uh, exactly what's going to happen here, but Simple is at least up on the silo, not uh, spotting anyone. And Electronic again working it outside a little bit alone, but much further back this time than in previous rounds. It looks like we are in route for another somewhat slow round out of Na'Vi. Wow, yeah, just all quiet across the map for just a couple of seconds there. G2 <laughs> don't want to do anything. How do you blame them? Yeah, neither do Navi. They're just now putting up the wall. Jax is watching for the cross outside from Heaven. Nexus and Mini. It's a close wall, though. It's not the deep one. Kenny's going to have a big role to play. Yeah, the ramp. With that AWP on scoping at the wrong time, could be a big mistake. There's the first jump. He's waiting for more. A little bit scary here. Flashbang not going to do too much, but now they're getting closer. That Molotov, yeah, he has to fall back. That's so dangerous. They don't quite catch him, but that's a question of seconds. And if he messes that up, he's dead. Look at the time. 35 oh. seconds here. Now we started to bring the bomb back in. And G2, yeah, they're over-rotating right now down to the B side. That's a huge mistake. Three of them are down here. Only a couple of people up on the A bomb side. Really only Amanek at the moment. They could have absolutely been outplayed here. 20 seconds. And now surely the hit is going to be on. Amanek burning in the fire in the corner. And he's going to die no matter what here. 14 seconds left. Nexa getting a kill. Can he get one more? Oh, that was simple with the bomb. And if he'd have gone down, that could have been the round. They're planting it in plain view but Hunter needs to get up and up he can't do it. Electronic will take him down. It's 15 for Navi. They absolutely baited them out. That is a huge over rotation for G2.
Yeah, well, they didn't have anyone down there except for Kenny S. They realized it's so late that it was a panic rotation. They got lost in the craziness of that round. Kenny drops down, no one in secret, no one to watch his back, and they sent three more people down to the lower bomb site. They were convinced it would be a hit downstairs. Oh, what a brutal way to lose a round right at the end. And you're out of money as well. Two shotguns in hand. A UMP, a Deagle, and a FAMAS. All on this. They need to find a way to win another two rounds and force it into overtime. Kenny, I don't think he saw that, but he had the right idea. Boomer just right up there, and he's not really looking for it yet. There's the turnaround, and that's the free kill that he needed. Big opening there, and actually looked like that could have backfired. It looked like he wasn't aware, but heads up play. Electronic is again, you've been pointing this out round after round, but he's again made his way down there, and he's just not sure what to actually do with it. It's almost like he just wants a fight and that he's never getting. Yeah, he's got to be surprised by that. But, I mean, again, that position, the fact that he made it down here, Nexa and Kenny S are both in secret. They have to start moving forward. This is the same thing as last time. Hunter close up with the shotgun. Oh, he sees nothing. They're all going to be coming from door. This is beautiful. Hunter might have done it again. Oh, what a turnaround. I can't believe he got that. Immediately traded off. And Jax, a follow-up flank. That looked like straight up hacking, didn't it? He just spun around and shot him in the face. What an amazing kill with the shotgun. Three on three, and they are not out of danger. Not anywhere near yet. They must win this round. Flamey hiding by the vent here right inside of the bomb site. It's simple and electronic. They're almost out of grenades, but they have one last flashbang. And let's see how this goes. Auto shotgun is immediately shut down. And yeah, this is going to be a 16-13.